guys, my name is Afik and today I would like to show you how to create a video chat application using Laravel and React.js. So the first thing I would like to do is go ahead and create a new Laravel project. Let's do a Laravel new chat app. Um, now once it's done, I'm going to cd into this project. Add to cd chat app. And let's set up a few things in here. Uh, let's Let me first open up this project in Visual Studio Code and as you can see in here under the resources assets JS uh, we have all the default setup to uh, create a new Vue.js application as the client side and we would like to use react so the only thing you would like to do is change the preset of the Laravel installation we're gonna do a PHP artisan preset and uh, you can tag in the help in here to see that we have non bootstrap view and react presets available for us in our case I would like to uh, use the react preset so PHP artisan preset react now if you'll take a look at our projects you see that the example component has changed now and it's react and under the package.json file uh, we have the react and react DOM dependencies available for us now the next thing we would like to do is go ahead and install our dependencies so npm install now we'll just wait for it to finish and once we're done we're gonna have uh, two more dependencies that we would like to add to this project the first one is <coughs> called simple peer this is a wrapper around the webrtc project we'll just give you a nicer api to create new peers and the other one is pusher.js because we need a way to communicate between two users and just send uh, the peers between them before we initialize the conversation okay so we're gonna do npm install dash dash save um, simple sorry simple peer and pusher JS now we have one more dependency that we would like to add to the server itself and this is pusher um, so the way we're gonna do that we're gonna use composer we're gonna do composer require pusher pusher php server we have a few more steps we would like to do on the server before we can go ahead and uh, jump into the react.js side the first thing will be to create a new um, database.sqlite file so we can use this one instead of uh, creating a whole uh, mysql server and now we can go ahead and visit our .env file and just delete everything in here except of the db connection we're going to change this one into sqlite now we can go back to the directory and do php artisan migrate it'll create two tables for us one of them is the users and one of them is for the passwords one more thing we would like to add is the whole registration and login system for the user but in Laravel you have a nice shortcut for this one uh, just for cases like this if you don't care about how the registration works and you don't have too many custom stuff you can just do PHP artisan make off and this one should handle all the routing and the uh, the routing and the auth views in here will just generate everything for us okay so now we can just run npm run watch so it can watch our changes and I believe we can visit the browser at chat app.dev to see what we've done and it all works great I would like to uh, create a few users for us so let's just add two of those uh, first one will be test gmail.com and let's do another one I'll call it test2 awesome now that we're all done we can go ahead and start work on the client side first thing I would like to do is create a media handler .js class now this class uh, its sole purpose is going to be to get permissions from the customer uh, to use his microphone and camera so we're going to do class media handler and we're going to have one method in here we're going to call it get permissions 
this one is going to return a new promise for us. So we know that once this promise is resolved, we have the microphone and camera available for us. Now the way it's going to work, we're going to access the navigator and under the navigator, we're going to go into media devices and get user media. Now this function requires constraints. We would like to specify what exactly we would like to ask from the customer. I need a video and also audio. And once the user has authorized me to use everything, I'm going to get a stream back. And this stream contains two tracks, one of them for the video and the other one for the audio. But we don't need to care about this because we can just send this stream directly to like a, a video element and it will just work, it will present everything to us. And in this point, I would like to resolve with a stream. Now, if the user will not authorize me to use his microphone and camera, I'm going to just log the error to the console. Throw you error saying um, unable to fetch stream. Now I would like to go into our example component and I will rename it to app.js and we're going to look for the element with ID of app and render this component inside there and also uh, in the app.js we're going to require the component called app. Now let's go into our uh, layouts app and this one has the idea of app. We're going to change it to something like, I don't know, container. And in our home file, I'm going to delete everything in here in uh, home.blade.php. And I'm going to add a new div with the ID of app. So this is where the React DOM is going to render our app into. OK, so let me just make sure we are rendering everything right. Uh, we're going to return a div with a class of app. Um, this is my video chat app. Now let's visit the browser to make sure we get it. Log in to test at gmail.com. Uh, let's see if we get an error in here. App is not defined. App is not defined. And this is because we haven't changed the class name into app. Mm, OK, great. OK, so now I would like to add two video elements to our screen. One is for us and the other one for the person we're going to talk to. Um, I'm going to create a new div in here, uh, give it a class, uh, let's say video container. And inside, I'll create two video elements, uh, class. But the first one will be my video. I would like to also add a reference for both of them. So let's do a ref for uh, this, this dot my video equals ref. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one. It's gonna be user video and user video dot ref. Awesome. Now let's set up some things in the constructor. The first thing I would like to do is create our local state. And in it, I would like to know uh, if the user has media available. Um, so we're going to uh, default this one to false. And I would also like to know the other user ID. So once we decide to call someone, um, would know what is the idea of the person we're talking to. Now, next, I would like to add the reference to the media handler class in here. So I'm going to do this dot media handler equals new media handler. And we're going to import it. So we're going to import media handler from media handler. Now, under the component, we'll mount. Uh, we're going to call this dot media handler dot get 
permissions. I believe this is the name of the function. Yes, get permissions. I'm going to use this one. And once this is resolved, we get a stream in here. Uh, and I would like to set state. Uh, sorry, I'd like to set the state for has media to true. And also, I'm going to fetch the reference to my video. And I'm going to set its source to be equal URL dot create object URL from this stream. Okay. And now that we have a source available in our video, we can do this dot my video dot play. Now, there is one issue with this function in here. Uh, it's going to be deprecated in a few Chrome and Firefox versions. So what we would like to use is a thing called source object. So we're going to do this dot my video dot source object is going to be equal to stream. Now, not all browsers support this one. So I'm going to wrap it in a try catch statement. Let's do try this one and in case we fail. I'm going to do this and eventually I'll play the video. So let's, let's see where we're at right now. We're going to refresh the page. What have we done wrong? Uh, at A is not a constructor. Constructor. What do you want from us? Uh, I think I know what the problem is. Uh, Let's go into the media handler and we forgot to export this one. So export uh, default class media handler. And, oh, I can see that we also named the resolve differently. So we need to call res not resolve. Now let's open up the browser again, refresh. And as you can see, we're prompt to uh, grant permissions for the microphone and camera. Once we click allow. Awesome. Great. So um, let's do um, let's add a little bit of styling to it before we continue. We'll go to the app.css, and uh, since this is not part of the tutorial, I'll just uh, throw in a bunch of CSS inside to just make it look a little bit nicer. Let's just give me a moment. Great, I think it will do it. Uh, let's take a look at what we have now. Hello. Nice. Well, that's it for the first episode. Uh, in the next one, we're going to set up uh, Pusher, JS, and Simple Peer to start uh, working on the WebRTC stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.